Hi everyone, welcome to Leap Scholar YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing great. We have a very special guest with us all the way from Canada, who has mentored thousands of students aspiring to go abroad for the higher education. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then subscribe now. Joining us today, we have Navjot with us, who will compare and contrast the universities of Ontario, Quebec and Alberta, helping you chart your journey from the right province to the right university and finally to the right job. Navjot here has 30 years of experience in marketing insights, worked with companies like PepsiCo, BAT and Walmart across 18 markets. He is also a content creator focused on the success of new immigrants in Canada. Okay, without any further ado, let's get right into it. So, Navjo, the first question is, what field of jobs is best and in an abundance in each of these provinces? So, let's talk about Ontario first. So, Ontario, you have IT. You know, that's the biggest and that's true for all the provinces. But let's talk about IT in Ontario specifically. So, you have web de web designers, uh, you have app developers, you have UI UX, you have SAP developers. So, uh, in IT, there's a, you know, there's, there's scope in a lot of different, you know, like niches. Uh, so, IT is by far, you know, one of the fastest growing when it comes to jobs. Uh, you also have healthcare and that has actually increased after COVID. You have healthcare, you know, research, which is doing very well. You have, uh, you know, nurses, practitioner nurses. Uh, you have nursing aides, you have doctors. So, you know, obviously these are all regulated professions, but still, you know, there's a lot of demand, uh, you know, for these professions here. And then you also have services. So even, you know, healthcare services, right? So uh, services is actually doing very well. You have HR, you have banking, you have restaurant services. Services always do well when there is more population, right? So when there's more population, you would always find, uh, you know, more HRs that are needed, more bank, banks that are be, be, being built and therefore they need more advisors. So service sector um, you know always does well it's not the highest paying but it has a lot of jobs uh, then we talk about Quebec so Quebec you know a lot of the things that we talked about Ontario are also true for Quebec but Quebec has some uh, three or four just on the basis of the companies that are there and you know the, the structure of those companies network technicians uh, you know the jobs for those are really um, very good uh, you know they, they are in plenty uh, you know when it comes to quebec cyber security professionals you know that's uh, you know one of the best professions and the highest paid professions in canada and there are a lot of companies who are hiring the cyber security professionals in quebec uh, and then there are interactive uh, media developers because uh, the film industry is pretty massive you know there are a lot of you know ui ux uh, developers that are needed so interacting media is really uh, doing very well in Quebec and then you also have aerospace so that's something that uh, is pretty exciting I actually met someone who was working in the aerospace industry and he told me that there are 26 uh, to 260 companies uh, only working in aerospace uh, field and they hire about 40,000 uh, people so they employ 40,000 people so I think those are the four fields which are different uh, Ontario obviously you know has more IT healthcare services Quebec also has it but these are the four fields that I feel are different in Quebec and then when we talk about Alberta, Alberta, you know, in one word, it would be on in two words, it would be oil and mining. Uh, that's something that is massive, that is growing. Uh, even the investments that are happening, it's all towards EV, it's all towards cleaner energy. So I would say oil, mining, energy, all that sector grows well. I'm not saying that IT is not growing. IT is growing because there is emphasis, emphasis, all these IT companies who are making their headquarters now in, um, you know, in Alberta, but it's still very much focused on uh, oil and mining, I would say. All right. The next question is, could you tell us the top three universities in each of these provinces? Look, so again, um, I would tell you the top three universities, but it would highly depend on the kind of niche that you want to build, what you want to do and your budget and whether you want to do a one or a two year degree or a diploma. Right. So, but when I talk about top universities, uh, just on the basis of, you know, uh, the quality of education that's provided and the quality of jobs that you get, Ontario would have University of Toronto, uh, University of Waterloo and uh, York University. So that, those would be the top, you know, three universities. But you also have Queen's, uh, McMaster, you have Western University, if you are in London, you have Ryerson, you have Windsor, University of Windsor. So, you know, all these universities are also good, but those would be the top three. Uh, Quebec will be McGill, University of Montreal, uh, Laval University, Concordia. So, you know, all these universities actually, uh, you know, uh, have been uh, giving quality education when it comes to just the universities. And then we talk about Alberta. Alberta is, um, you know, one in each of of the big uh, you know area so in Edmonton you have University of Alberta in Calgary you have University of Calgary and then in Lethbridge you have University of Lethbridge so these are the top three universities uh, in my view uh, which actually have uh, high quality of education and high quality of after job opportunities after education opportunities all right 
So the next question is, what could be the pros and cons of studying at universities in each of these provinces? All right, so Ontario, biggest pro, you have so many options. You have so many options, irrespective of what field you want to go into, you have many options of many universities, courses, one year, two year, three year, you just have too many options. Then you have lots of jobs because there are so many people here, service industry is pretty big, we talked about it, you know, uh, in a while. So lots of jobs in Ontario, um, but one of the cons that comes with lots of jobs and lots of people is more competition. And the second one is cost of living. Cost of living is pretty high in Ontario. It's one of the highest, uh, you know, very much similar to what we have in British Columbia. Uh, so for students, that becomes a little bit difficult. Survival becomes a diff diff little bit difficult because the minimum wages are the same. When you are studying, you are working in a minimum wage job. That's pretty much the same across uh, the country. A little bit, you know, up and down. Quebec, um, I think it's very specialized. Uh, Quebec. So you, if you are uh, becoming a cybersecurity professional, Quebec would be a good place to start because they have specialized courses. So that's what I like about Quebec. Uh, cost of living is a big pro uh, when it comes to Quebec because it's way cheaper. I won't say you know very you know too cheap, but it's still cheaper uh, to live in Quebec uh, versus you know Ontario. Just cost of living, you know, uh, lodging, accommodation, all these things are cheaper. I think one of the biggest cons, uh, and that is not, a lot of people know about this, is language. Uh, because French is spoken widely. If you don't know French, that could be uh, a limiting factor to the amount of jobs that you get or uh, just normal interaction on the road, right? So uh, that becomes a challenge. And then um, I also hear that uh, traffic and transportation is one of the biggest cons uh, when it comes to living in Quebec uh, in general. It amplifies a little bit more as a student because you don't have a car, you are relying on public transport. So that would be uh, the other con of Quebec. Now, if we talk about Alberta, it is one of the cheapest cities to live in and the minimum wage is one of the highest. So for just from a cost of living standpoint, it makes sense. Uh, you know, Calgary makes a lot of sense, not just for students, but also for people who are not earning that much, you know, after their universities. The other con is that it has uh, one of the fastest growing populations. Uh, and when there is growth in population that happens, there is growth in jobs, there's growth in industry, there's growth in infrastructure. There are just more opportunities when there's population growth. One of the biggest cons is, uh, and I only have one con to be honest for Alberta, is that it's very much hyper dependent on oil and mining. Uh, so that would be one con of Alberta. If you're in oil and mining, great. But if you are not, then it's hyper dependent on oil and mining. One of the other cons that a lot of people talk about, but because we are in Canada, we should not be talking about it, is weather. I think people talk about extreme weathers uh, in Alberta, for that matter, even Quebec. Uh, but to be honest, if you are in Canada, minus 20, minus 40, it's the same. So yeah, you know, weather is a slight con in, um, you know, in Alberta, but not so much uh, if you're coming to Canada. All right. So out of the three provinces, where will it be the easiest to acquire a PR from? I would say it's Ontario because just uh, the number of students who come here, uh, the number of jobs that are there, you just have more opportunities of either making it to one of the you know PR streams, the PNP streams that they have. They have streams for PhD students, they have streams for master students, they have you know uh, international student streams for you know. Uh, there are certain programs. Uh, you know, within the PNP system that are targeted towards students. Plus, you also have more opportunities of being able to get into a job that can sponsor your work permit, that can sponsor your LMIA. So you just can make more points just because the number of jobs are a little more. Yes, there's more competition as well, but just from the breadth of opportunities, if you are good, uh, there are just more opportunities of making more points when it comes to PR. All right, moving on to our last question. Which province is bound to have universities that provide good scholarship opportunities to international students? Almost all universities would have scholarships, but I talk about you know my personal experience because I'm in Kitchener right now, University of Waterloo. I know they provide uh, for undergraduates, masters, and PhD programs. They provide up to ten thousand dollars of assistance uh, when it comes to scholarships. You have University of Montreal as well that provides about twenty-seven thousand dollars. You need to qualify for that, so there are certain courses and certain you know qualifications that you need to have in order to get those scholarships. Get guidance. You know, from people who already know, um, you know, uh, if there are any scholarships that exist in Canada. Thank you, Navjot, for this insightful session. And for our users, we will soon be back with more such videos. Until then, if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments section below. If you want to know more about studying abroad and also want a free counseling session, then click on the link in the description below.